What's up everybody? Decided to make another video. Gotta keep them coming. Gotta keep them coming. Gotta keep these videos pumping out. Videos pumping out. Anyways. Alright, so... Um, because I read one of my clients, well, friend, client, you know, you know how clients become friends and friends become clients, that how, how that works. Anyways, and, uh, he was just kind of down and wrote like a Facebook post about how he was, you know, kind of down, but he's realized how far he's come with his goals and stuff. So I thought about that and I was like, you know what? Let's do a video about goals and why you should have them. Damn, my leg itches. <sighs> It's very important to have goals. Number one thing you learn in psychology, for sports psychology, is have, if you're coaching, have realistic short-term and long-term goals. And that's just in general. Don't be one of those people who, ah, I want to be a millionaire and you have no job. Or, um, I want to be shredded in like two months, yet you have to lose like 100 pounds. Or, what's another one? Um, I want to make my car really fast, put a f big ass turbo on it, but you have no money and you have no job. So, that's, uh, those are like retarded goals. Or, or if, you, if you plan a team, uh, I want to go undefeated this season. Well, that's great and all, but last season you guys didn't win a game. <laughs> so, have realistic short-term goals. For example, short-term goal for me right now is release some new gear on Friday. Today's Thursday. So, release some new gear for Contagion Athletics tomorrow. Short-term goal. Um, another short-term goal is lose a couple more pounds by the end of the week. Or not the end of the week. Uh, or have, have a new low on Sunday by the time Sunday comes as opposed to last week. So hopefully I will be, you know, lower, hit a new weight loss goal where I was then last week. Um, I'm about to go squat. Last week I got up to 345, I want to say, 345, uh, which for me is a lot. I'm not strong. I don't know if I'll ever be strong, but I'm going to work on it. You know, I, I want to put up decent numbers. Once I get to 405, I'm cool, cool with that. But I was repping out 345. Um, I did two sets of five, I think. So this week, I either want to do 345 three sets or maybe go to 355, 365. So we're about to go find out. Excuse me, that's a long term or short term goal um, that I have. Same with my deadlift that I'm about to go do. I want a deadlift. Last week I did 455. I would like to get that up. I did 455 for two. Um, it just lost my grip, so we'll see if I can maybe do for three or four or five or maybe go up and wait for a couple reps So we'll see um, let's see sh long term goals that I have Let's see and you need you need to have these two as well. I want to compete in November Boom, there's one. I want to get more clients by the end of the month I want to get three more clients by the end of the month whether it's online or in person at the Amarillo Town Club um, by the end of the year, by the end of December, I want to be making a certain amount of money in training per month. Uh, what is my goal? My goal is to make 10K per month. Uh, right now, I think, I'm, I think I'm right around, I think with everything, I think with everything right now, I'm either at like five, 55 or six. Somewhere right there. So not too bad. Um, and I have to minus what I have to give the town club. So, but I just want to get to 10 to 10k. So it's about you know a little over four grand um, in clients that I need to get. So that's probably about 10 to 12 more clients that I want to get. But but that's December. So that's four or five months away. That's pretty. That's a pretty good goal because I've been averaging about two or three per month that I've been adding. I just lost two because I've been training a college basketball player and a high school football player, but obviously their season's about to start, so I'm done training them. Um, so that's my business, my business goal. Obviously, I have business goals for Contagion Athletics. You know, I just want to, I want to grow it, grow the brand, grow the vision, and um, you know, 
grow grow Contagion Athletics as much as I can at a slow and steady pace. I don't want it to fucking just blow up because if it does, I won't be able to, <laughs> I will not be able to keep up with demand and I'm not trying to start to hire people because I like doing everything, you know, ourselves. You know, we, we print it, we package it, we ship it, I deliver it, whatever. Um, I like that. I don't want to hire people, not for a while because I like doing things my way or our way. So, um, that's that's the business goals I have for my training business. That's the business goals I have for Contagion Athletics. As far as me, I want to compete in November. Um, or I want to keep kicking and training. I want to be able to hit, you know, 70, 75 yard field goals like it's fucking nothing. I want to be able to put the ball 10 yards out of the end zone. You know, I, I don't even want to. When I, when I go to the free agent camps in January. Get away, fly. Hold on. When I go to the free agent camps in January, or it's not January, I think it's February and March, whatever. January through April next next um, spring, I want to kill the competition. I literally want to walk out there and hit one ball, and I want every single kicker there to realize who the best is. I, I want to show up and, you know, everybody be on their high horse, think they're good, think they've been training hard, blah, blah, blah. And I want to come in and just smash their dreams of getting picked up by an NFL team because I'm going to get that contract. Not anybody else. Fucking me. I'm going to get an NFL contract in the spring. That is a, that's a long-term goal for me. You know, it's only like eight months away. But I, I want my shot. I feel I deserve it. So I'm going to work my ass off to make sure that I get that shot. Um... So that's my football goal. I have my men's physique goal. You know, I want to come in. Hopefully, men's physique-wise, I want to come in, you know, 195, um, 200, which will be about 10 or 15 pounds heavier than I did last competition. But, you know, my last competition, I, I did a little bit too much of cardio. Either I did a little too much cardio or my calories are just a little bit too low. But I wanted to come in, you know, really, really shredded. Um... And it was my first competition. You never know what to expect, you know. And for me, I, I would rather come in. I don't want to say overconditioned, but I guess in my case, it was overconditioned than not conditioned enough. So, you know, I sacrificed a little bit of calories, a little bit of cardio, um, to make sure of that. So I probably sacrifice. I don't know, maybe five pounds of muscle, and then I probably put on about five pounds of muscle since I've competed, which it'll be. Eh, 15 months in November, so I think that uh, I think I, I think I probably put on five pounds of muscle. So because I've just done I've done everything smart this time, and um, you know my nutrition is a little bit better, and it was better in the off season. It's not like I just fucking ate 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 and got super fat. So I'm a little a little fluffy, but. I still have kind of a jawline, a little bit. So, and I still have vein, a little bit of veins, not a lot, but I still got a little bit of cuts and stuff, not too much. So, I'm way leaner this time than uh, last time, that's for sure. So, hopefully 195. But so that's my men's physique goal. I got my business goal. I got, um, you know, I got my business goals, and you should have those. You should have them. So I'm putting them on video. I don't need to write them down. I want to come in. A little bit heavier, just as shredded in November. I want to, um, what else did I say? I want to grow Contagion Athletics, the brand, you know, the vision of chasing your dream, whatever it is. Whether whether it's bodybuilding, whether it's being the best uh, motocross athlete, being the best runner, it, it doesn't matter. It, it's not a fitness brand per se. You know, it's like I'm going to put dedication on a t-shirt and sell it or something like that. But, you know, I want to grow the brand of being able to chase your dreams no matter what obstacles you have in your way or where you came from, whether you're rich or poor, is that you should follow your dreams. Whether you have to work two jobs, whether you don't have to work, whether you're in college, whether you're five years out of, out of school, you should be able to chase your dreams no matter what. And everybody should have dreams and goals, is my, is my belief. And then, um, you know, obviously for football, I want to just smash the competition. I, I want to just kill it. I want me and my brother to go there and just... <laughs> seriously, I don't want there to be one doubt in my mind 
when I go against these guys that I just blow them out of the water and I know I'm capable of that because people have told me that people have been in the NFL have told me that when I put when I kick how I need to kick in front of people I'm telling you it's game fucking over so I got screwed from my previous agent because he didn't do his damn job but that's nothing I can control I can be pissed off about it and let it fuel me and that's it um, I have a good agent now he's very well known and uh, I'm very excited about that so all I have to do is hold up my end of the bargain which is just be how good I know I can be and I will get my opportunity because that's how shit works you put the work in it will come to you so just remember that whatever you're chasing for me it's football men's physique I do is um, I do for fun but for me it's football I'm chasing the NFL because I, I just want my shot at the end of the day I just want my shot if they say I'm not good enough that's cool but at least I got my chance at least I got my chance so like for my brother he got to try with the Jets he was this fucking close to getting a contract you know he just you know they didn't uh, he missed like two field goals I think that's it it's just you everything has to be right so for him shit I'd be I mean I'm hella motivated just from hearing that like damn my brother got to try with the Jets like that's sick as fuck he was he his foot is in the door so and he's been out of school two years so for me it'll be for me I'll be out of school one year so I'm just I'm really excited god I cannot wait to kick against these motherfuckers you have no idea I'm a competitor and that's why I like men's physique because um, like kicking it's kind of up to you you know if you miss a field goal most likely it's gonna be your fault you know yeah you can have bad snap and stuff like that but that's why I like men's physique because I do my own diet everything is on me and uh, you know that that's why I like it so it's it's kind of like kicking um, I just I cannot wait to you have no idea I, I can't explain it in words how I'm gonna just smash on everybody so and I know my brother's training just as hard as I am um, right now it's just kind of limbo but once September 1st comes whoo you better believe you better believe I'm gonna go buy me a GoPro and I'm gonna be recording every time I kick just to sh just to scare these dudes oh come at me I, ooh, I would you have no idea. No idea. I'm going to be smashing 70 yard field goals like it is nothing. Like it's nothing. I'm going to be punting hang time of five seconds every single time. And my kickoffs will be going out of the end zone by five or ten yards. Whoo! I'm excited. You should be excited too. And that's why you should have goals because you should be excited about something where you want to be the best. And it should just, oh, it just motivates me. Me talking to this camera, I just get motivated. I want to go kick right now, but I got to go smash legs first. And then I'm going to go kick. Even if it's dark outside, I'm going to go kick because I want to be the best. So do what you have to do to be the best. Fuck what everybody else says. Do what you have to do. Okay, forget the naysayers. Forget what everybody says. Just do what you have to do. Okay, because at the end of the day, it's you by yourself. It doesn't matter. The only people, the people will be with you when you're at the top, but they won't be with you when you're at the bottom. Because right now, I don't hear shit from nobody about, oh, hey, you still train for football? I don't hear nothing, which is fine, because they can forget about me now. But in the spring, when I get a contract and I'm saying, oh, yeah, I get a chance to play in the NFL, oh, oh, I've been rooting for you. Shut the fuck up. No, you haven't been. So, forget what everybody else says. Chase your dreams. Chase your goals. No matter what, that's what it's about, man. That is what it's about. Your opportunity for chasing your dreams and goals is such a small amount of time in your lifetime. So just give it all. Give it all that you have for you know the time span that you're allowed. You know, for me, I know it's only a couple of years. So I'm gonna get my ass into gear so I can train, 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 train. And if it doesn't happen, at least I know that I give it my all. So. I'll be into it with that. Chase your dreams. Chase your goals. Just get motivated, man. Just get, just get fucking motivated. Because me talking to this camera, like I said, it just motivates me. And whatever you have to, if you have to watch videos, if you have to see pictures, if you have to, whatever. Just get motivated. Stay motivated. 
and have your goals, have your dreams, know what they are, fuck the naysayers, go get it, stop watching the video, go out there, and go be better than everybody else. I'm out.